Hello and welcome. A one-time execution of a piece of code is an iteration, and two or more iterations become a loop. In Unity Playmaker, the loop and loop state actions are used to perform multiple iterations. Let's look at how to use these two actions and the difference between them. Let's start with the loop action. The first field in the loop action is to specify the number of iterations. In our example here, our loop will have 10 iterations. As for the store current loop field, we we'll assign an int variable named loop count. This variable will be automatically set to 0 upon loop start and increased by 1 on every iteration. Next, we will create an event and assign it to the loop event field. The looping state is where we will perform the iteration. We want to display the loop count value in the console window. When all the iterations are over, a finished event is triggered that transitions us to the loop end state where a brief message is printed to the console to that effect. Now let's enter play mode to see how it works out. Fine, now let's turn our attention to the loop state action. As for the loop state action, it is added to the end of an action list on a state. The loop state action decides how many times the set of actions on that state should iterate. Let's display a multiplication table of 5 starting from 1 to 12. Let's first create two int variables, number to keep count of the iterations, and product to keep the multiplied value. Then two string variables, one to store the former string in each iteration and the other to store the concatenated string from all iterations. The int add action will add the value 5 to the product variable in each iteration. The former string action references both the number and product variables. The previous video in this series showed how to use formal string. Review that if you are not familiar with formal strings. The full string, which is stored in the display string variable, will be displayed in an input field game object. The input field UI has its line type property set to multi-line new line. We want to keep count of the iterations ourselves, so we will not assign the number variable to the store current loop field. Instead, we'll use the int add action and increase the number variable by one.
Now let's enter play mode and see the result. This is where we end this tutorial. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.